Well, welcome back, y'all. Camera's just up there shaking on the dashboard in the truck, but uh, it's kind of a cold, dreary, rainy day. Currently, it's about 45 degrees, and uh, the rain's actually letting up. It's just been more than anything, just kind of drizzling all day long. Uh, I found a spot about an hour and a half away, but I've never been to it, so I'm gonna go check that one out. Wow. I'm not supposed to get there until almost five o'clock. So it's actually gonna be getting pretty close to dark, especially with the cloud cover that we have right now. But I'm gonna hit the road and uh, see what this is all about. Stay tuned, y'all. Well, Google Maps put me on a, oop, can I zoom this out? Maps put me on what? It's gotta be a minimum maintenance road and it is sloppy. My truck is just covered. This is not something I would do on purpose because uh, you kind of tear these roads up, but I don't know why it sucked me on this road. It like took me out in the middle of nowhere, but it's just flinging mud. And I, I'm only going 15 miles an hour. Trying not to tear this up. Also trying not to slide into the ditch because it is sloppy. <laughs> I guess we'll be there in a little bit. The rain did stop. The sun is out. But yeah, my truck is gonna be filthy. And I did not do this on purpose. <sighs> well, I can't stop. Well, we've made it, uh, and this is a beautiful, beautiful lake, but the uh, sun is just about to go all over the horizon, so I need to go get this fire going quick, because I'm going to cook over the fire tonight. Uh, it's probably, it's already 6 o'clock, so yeah, we're going to lose our light almost immediately, but, but I'm going to get this fire blazing so I can get some coals ready for dinner tonight.
Well, we're gonna try something a little bit different. Uh, I've had a couple of these. Actually, I think I've only had one, maybe just one. Uh, so I picked up another ranch water, but as you can see, it's spicy water. Uh, so this is ranch water hard seltzer, uh, spicy hard seltzer. It says made with 100% agave, natural lime juice, and jalapeno flavor. So we're gonna give this a shot. The Lone River cuts through the high desert of far west Texas. Out of the Lone River flows ranch water. Legend has it the first soul to taste ranch water followed miles of Texas stars until found asleep under a pinon tree. While what transpired on that journey remains a mystery, its spirit inspires to this day. So we're going to try some spicy water here. I don't know about this jalapeno water. I can kind of smell it. That ain't bad. It's definitely got a little kick to it. I don't think I'm going to be able to drink more than one or two of these things. Uh, I found it in a six pack. You couldn't buy these in a single, so took a gamble on it for sure, but fire is going and this is a gorgeous gorgeous spot i can't believe i've never been here before um, you guys may have noticed i moved my license plate a lot of you guys in the last video were talking about how my license plate was covered there is a bracket on that spare tire thing so i moved it over uh, i did get a padlock for the the gate and i also got a cable lock for the Higher. I still need to uh, move or make a light for the license plate since it won't have a light on it at night and unplug the other ones but uh, you can definitely feel it back there on the truck and the truck was probably sitting a hair nose up to start with uh, with the weight that I've got in there now and now with that tire on the back which I'm guessing the the bumper and the tire together are probably 175 200 pounds uh, at least so you can feel it back there everything stayed tight wasn't any issues with it that muddy road I mean you guys can tell on the truck it's there's huge cakes of mud on there so I'm gonna have to wash it tomorrow but uh, I have to look into either replacing the leaf springs with something a little bit more heavy duty because those things are basically flat uh, we could take a look at them at some point but uh, the rear suspension needs addressed. The front suspension could need a, could use a, a, a refresh. I've had the lift on for more than 100,000 miles. And uh, the truck has 207,000 miles on it, I think. So uh, we got to look into getting something. Uh, and I think a leaf spring is probably going to be the best choice. I know some people are probably thinking airbags. Uh, but I feel at this point airbags would be more of a band-aid fix because uh, I'd put airbags on if I was towing heavy and I needed something to level out what I was towing and then not towing I could dump the air but I need something that's going to bring the back end up uh, permanent and I do feel a little bit of porpoising so I think a little bit stiffer spring and maybe a better shock I don't know we'll see uh, but I gotta start looking into that. I've got a couple people I'm gonna talk to and see if I can get some help with that, so. Uh, yeah, I bet there is a good inch and a half of lean going on right there. I've got a squatted truck, it's terrible. <laughs> we gotta let this fire burn down and then uh, got a nice steak to cook tonight, so. I'm gonna drink my spicy water. Probably grab my chair and relax because the the bench is soaking wet, but let me give you guys a little quick view. Got the lake behind us, and it's it goes way over yonder that way, and it kind of goes way over yonder that way. There's two campgrounds here. Uh, the other campground has electricity. This one does not. But there are some trails here, like there's a trail that goes uh, along the lake, and you can see a little bridge right there, maybe feel dumb. I took my fishing poles out of the truck again. I had them on the Iowa trip, but I took them out so my wife could ride 
in the truck and I didn't put them back in and this looks like a very fishy spot so I'm stoked on this lake though I'm definitely gonna come back here it's beautiful there was one camper on the other side but I'm the only person down here in the non-electric sites I believe there are a couple of hike in sites here also but <laughs> look that looks like can you see that Tell me that doesn't look like E.T. From my, from my perspective, it looks like E.T. on the front of that thing. But uh, yeah, cheers guys. Spicy jalapeno water. And a nice campfire. I'm going to put this other plate on here and let this rest for a little bit and I'm actually going to grab my stuff and head into the truck since the fire's about dead and it's actually getting pretty cold out here tonight. My shoes are nice and muddy and everything is moist but that steak smells really good get this stuff off well I did bring my heater with me also uh, probably crack that on here before I go to bed because my thermometer says it's 38 degrees in here right now so we've got a flat iron steak we got a couple of rolls and we've got some loaded potato salad here but I also picked up some more of this Rufus Teague sauce and I got the touch of heat this time. So we might use that for a little bit of dipping. Uh, you guys probably saw I used McCormick Grillmate Spicy Montreal Steak Seasoning. Uh, 
and this smells and looks very tasty and it's steaming so let's go ahead and get ourselves a roll here i don't have any butter or anything for this i wish i did but i do not try not to lose the twist tie for this this time got a nice thick roll here Or salad. Tell you what, man, it seems like no matter how much I feel like I prepare for it, the seasons just change way faster than I'm ready for uh, every time. Ooh. Making a mess. Need to take a bite. Oh, that's pretty good. This has probably had five minutes or so. Hopefully, it's done enough because I did not even look at it. I like mine pretty rare, anyways. So, mm. that looks good to me. Let's try a chunk of this before we put any sauce on it. That's good, and that seasoning's really good on there. All right, we gotta try some of this Rufus Teague sauce. The last one that I tried was the Blazing Hot, and it was very hot. So, we'll try the Touch of Heat. Put a little dab down there. I can dip her in. Ooh, that was a little much. A little bit more runny than the other ones. Got some of our spicy water. It's good. It's almost, you almost feel it's got a little bit of honey flavor to it. It doesn't really say anything about the sauce itself. Chipotle pepper. But that's really the only spicy thing in there. Mm. I like that sauce. It's pretty good. It's got a little kick to it, but it's nothing bad. Oh. Well, you can't really go wrong with meat and potatoes. Let's see if I can clean this plate up a bit with my napkin here. Oh, well, that was really good. I need to, uh, cook the meats more often but I'm gonna get this little bit cleaned up here and we'll see if we can get this thing cranked on uh, at least take the edge off in here my feet are already getting cold I didn't bring any heavier socks with me but I do have long johns on so it's not feeling terrible but uh, it's definitely chilly in here Hopefully the spiders didn't do a number on this thing while it was sitting in my garage. It's kind of dusty and dirty and this is not a full tank so we're just looking to get a little bit of warmth in here. I don't ever run this thing full time um, and really as warm as it gets in here with this thing you can't run it full time but let's see.
can already feel the heat coming off of this thing. We'll just set her down right over here. Man, these shoes are so dirty. So much mud in here. Sweet. Um, yeah, you can definitely tell that thing has been sitting in my garage the way it smells. I do have a carbon monoxide detector right down there. That window is completely wide open, the capside window. And like I said, I'll only probably run this thing for like 10 minutes uh, just to warm it up in here. This is 50 degrees already. Yeah, that feels really nice. Well, kind of back to the winter or early sunset grind and it's not even daylight savings uh, but get myself a movie going all right so I downloaded fast times at Ridgemont High and I can't tell you the last time I saw this movie I don't know if I've ever watched it for a YouTube video or not but we'll give this a watch and so many people have told me that I, like numerous people, have told me that I look like Judge, Re Judge Reinhold from the movie. Uh, and specifically, they mentioned this movie when they've said that. So, uh, we'll give this a watch. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've seen this. I kind of feel like I might have watched it on a video. But, 400 something videos in and... Can't remember every single thing I've done. Uh, we're already up to, God, we're hitting like 66. It's getting warm in here. It's cold in here. It says it's 42 degrees in here. It's not really that bad. But you could you could see my breath. Oh Oh, sun's peeking through the clouds out there. I can see it through my moist windows. Ugh. Coffee time? I think it's coffee time. Oh, I bet the floor is cold. All right. I picked up some Folgers, got a little bit of this Jack Daniels left, probably just enough for this cup. That's probably enough. I'll have that for breakfast, Krispy Kreme strawberry donut bites. They come individually packaged like this. It's getting 
boiling. Come on, buddy. He is served. Well, let's get out there and face the day, folks. headed down the road uh, this is a really nice spot I'm definitely gonna come back to this one I really can't believe that I've never been down here before uh, but it's a really cool lake and I feel like this would be a good one for ice fishing too the way it's kind of uh, protected on all the banks you wouldn't get a bunch of wind coming onto the lake hopefully and we've got Halloween coming up so we'll see if I can get a Halloween video in this year 
I've kind of got an idea, but we'll see if I can make it happen. Other than that, just headed on down the road. Uh, dinner last night was good. I like my steak rare. And uh, it was nice to cook that over the fire and then be able to escape back into the truck for a little bit of warmth at the time. But uh, yeah, seasons are changing. Probably won't be long before we have some snow. Uh, so I'm excited for that. And I've got a couple of new things for the snow season this year. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit. Mm -hmm.